If you've ever wanted to try Ubuntu without touching your main window setup, this video is for you. I'll show you how to run Ubuntu straight from a USB drive on Windows 10 or 11. The best part is, this isn't just a temporary session. The USB will have persistence. That means the files you create, the apps you install, and even your settings will all stay saved on the drive. Next time you plug it in and boot from it, everything will be right where you left it, same like having a portable Linux PC that fits in your pocket. Before we start, I have a small request. Like the video, subscribe to help me growing this channel. The first thing you'll need is the Ubuntu ISO file. Just open your browser, search for Ubuntu. Open the very first website. Once you are on website, click on the download section and then click download Ubuntu desktop. You will find a download button next to Intel or AMD 64-bit architecture. Click on it. And after a few seconds, your downloading will start. Now to make USB bootable, we need a tool called Rufus. Simply search for Rufus and go to its website. On the website, scroll down and download the latest version of Rufus. Once both files are downloaded, open your Downloads folder. Now run the Rufus software. Now plug in your USB drive, then select your USB drive here. Then click on the Select button and choose ISO file that we downloaded earlier. Now here's the important part. Persistence. You'll see a slider where you can pick how much space to use for saving files and settings. I'm picking 10 gigabytes. Next, we need to choose the partition scheme of our system. To figure this out, search for Disk in Windows and open this option. Now right-click on Drive and go to Properties. Now here go to Drive. You can see my drive is using MBR, so I will choose it. You can also rename your USB from here if you want. Once that's set, hit Start. Rufus will warn you that everything on the USB will be erased. Just click OK and let it do its job. It usually takes about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your USB speed. When it says ready, your persistent Ubuntu USB is done. Time to test it. Leave the USB plugged in and restart your computer. When your computer shows logo, Press your boot menu key. It's different for each brand. You can find for your system according to chart on screen. From the menu, pick your USB drive and press enter. On next screen, choose try or install Ubuntu and press enter button. After a short load, you'll see the Ubuntu screen. Choose Try Ubuntu instead of Install. And that's it. You're now running Ubuntu straight from your USB. Since we added persistence, you can save files, install apps, change settings, and everything will still be there the next time you boot into Ubuntu. If you found this video helpful, then like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.